We're going to make a winner today, but hatujapata winner. It's but, okay, we keep it moving, honestly. Yeah, but there is a real life winner mm-hmm. right now. Just for Maina, Executive Director, Beyond Barriers Employment Network. He is a gentleman who's going to be talking to us about fostering inclusivity and empowerment for people with disability. And how about we put our hands together as we welcome this amazing gentleman, Mr. Maina. Uko tayari kwa makofi? Yes. Yes, very uh, ready. Sawa. You're very ready. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is our pleasure to have Jospat Maina, mm-hmm. of course, Executive Director Beyond Barriers um, Empowerment Network. He's doing amazing work for persons with disabilities in Kenya, especially with regards to workspaces, which uh, can be very, very, very problematic when it comes to matters inclusivity. Mm-hmm. But let's have him first introduce himself. Jospat, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came into c- creating uh, Beyond Barriers Empowerment Network. Okay, pleasure. Uh, it's my appreciation and I'm um, so glad that I'm here. Uh, thank you so much for having me here today. Uh, my name is Josephat Maina Karanza from Nakuru, a uh, person with disabilities running an initiative called Beyond Barriers Empowerment Network. Uh, I was born in Nakuru. Uh, my roots are from Nakuru. I uh, studied in Nakuru in my primary High school, I went to a special school in Jai Town Thika. Mm-hmm. Then later on, college, I went back to Nakuru, uh, the Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology. Mm-hmm. So my life in school has been in a, Nakuru. Mi- a mixture of uh, integrated and special school. How did you birth this amazing dream? Uh, through my own life experiences, mm-hmm. through the, the challenges that I face as a person, and by seeing the challenges that my fellow people with disabilities also face mm-hmm. in the society. Mm-hmm. I like that you're very concise and you mentioned something interesting about your education journey that is a mixture of um, regular schools and special schools. And uh, like we've said, we've had several guests o- on here who've said that we need to be able to integrate learning because the world is integrated, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we all work together, play together, so learning should be integrated as well, even for persons with disabilities. What's your take on that, Josphat? Just perhaps from a personal experience point of view. Uh, my take has always been uh, I prefer special schools to integrated schools. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, special schools, uh, in the in terms of independence, the fostering of independence mm-hmm. for the for the student, uh, because all my life in my primary, I couldn't do anything on my own, whereas there were any everyone around. There was everyone around, and Helping everyone you around. Mm-hmm. yes, everyone wanted to do everything. Okay. So the moment I joined high school, it was all by myself. Mm-hmm. Because right. it's a special school, everyone needs to do everything oh. for wow. themselves. Yes, yes, so yes. I think the fact.